Hello everybody and welcome to the, the YouTube channel, The Big Black American Secret. And last night I witnessed my own murder. I kid you not. The man in Minneapolis who was killed by those police officers and specifically by the, the white officer who had his knee in his back of his neck. I I saw me on the ground. That man was me. I didn't sleep too good last night. And I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again comfortably for the rest of my life. I've always known that this world was what it was. When when um, Ahmaud Aubrey was shot and killed, I couldn't quite figure exactly. I was outraged about it. I saw it and I, I was pissed, completely pissed. But I did not see myself being shot. But last night, seeing this man face down, hands behind his back, more than likely handcuffed, and this man sat on his neck with his knee for over five to seven minutes. And this man, this white man, he not only had his, his knee on his neck, he had the full weight of his upper body using his arm to press into his neck. And he grinded every so often. That was an intentional murder. That was a quiet murder. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I don't know because of racism, white supremacy conditioning that for all these years, seeing black men be killed at the hands of police officers, I, I never actually saw myself being killed. I don't know what it is, but this particular one, that was me on that concrete. I'm ashamed to say that. I feel disgusted in my own soul that it's taken this for me to, to, to actually see this and relate to it in this way. I Here's what I'm trying to say. I should have always felt this way from day one. I should have always felt this way. Now I do believe, I do know that the system in place puts things in place to keep black men docile, quiet, fearful. And they have worked. They have worked beautifully. Because seeing shit like this, I can't do it no more. This won't even happen again. I guarantee it won't happen again. Not without repercussions. Not without repercussions. This man saying, I can't breathe. You got people around him telling him to just do what they say. Um, it's your fault. Just get in the car. How in the hell are you going to get up from that position with somebody on your damn neck? Obviously, the cops didn't want him to get up. Otherwise, they would have helped him to his feet. But you, you see how the, how how the system of racism and white supremacy has us so mentally pinned as black men that we blame. We'll try to blame this this man for his own death. I don't care what this man did. I don't know what he did. And I don't I frankly don't give a damn. He could have killed tw 12 people before I, before this scene came. Does not matter. In America, we have a system of justice. And that system is this. Somebody do something wrong, they are arrested, they have a trial, they go to jail, or they let free, based on the evidence. This didn't happen. This white officer took it on himself to be the officer, the judge, and the jury. He decided this man's uh, fate, and that turned out to be death. If this officer and everybody with him are not put in jail for murder and conspiracy to commit murder, um, then the United States of America as we know it, is, it no longer exists. It no longer exists. 
it no longer exists. The rule of law and the rule of order, it goes out the door. These men being put on administrative leave with pay initially because that's that's the handbook answer to these things that are always going forward. Oh, so then when black people made this video go viral, oh, well, you know what? Let's fire these four police officers. Now what they're going to try to do is try to play this shit out and give it time for public sentiment to die off. If these officers do not go to jail, all of them for murder, murder, not anything less than murder, every black man in America will stand up and we will bring justice to this world immediately. That will happen immediately. Because just like I saw myself with this white man's knee in, 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 in my neck and I died last night, every black man in America feels the exact same way right now. Any black man that don't feel that ain't a black man. Ain't black at all. If you, if you see this and you don't see yourself in that man, the brainwashing is so deep, it's going to take another couple of centuries to free you. And right now we don't have time for you. I need you to sit on the sideline, take a seat, stand down. Don't say don't say nothing stupid. Just let whatever going to happen happen. Please. I beg you. And like I've always told you, we have been at war since 1492. Since Christopher Columbus started enslaving our ancestors in the Caribbean. Okay? But being the way that it is, you don't really feel it. You don't feel it 100% because you, you have the freedom to walk around, drive your car, go to work, raise your family. You know, we are prisoners. We are children of POWs. We are the children, descendants of prisoners of war. Also descendants of slaves. Same people. We, 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 I have to categorize this differently, and here's why. The transatlantic slave trade was told to us in reverse, completely lied to us. You understand what I'm saying? Our indigenous ancestors who owned this continent were enslaved and sent from here to other places, other uh, Europe, Spain, other parts of America, and they lied to us and told us those were African slaves. Those are not African slaves. Those were indigenous people. Christopher Columbus started enslaving in the Caribbean islands near the coast of West Africa. In fact, the Portuguese had a colony over in, in Sierra Leone where they took indigenous African, I mean, black Americans, us, our ancestors, from the Caribbean to West Africa. So if you are black and you are from West Africa, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, it's a good chance you are a an, an Aboriginal American, American. If you are from Inc, or if you are black and you're in England, you are more than likely an Aboriginal American. The the, 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 the conspiracy goes so deep. I can't get into all of the other stuff. You can go watch all of my other videos. There's bits, clues, and pieces in all of them. But right now, I want to focus on this man being murdered in plain view. That was a quiet kill. They quietly killed this man on purpose. There is no way you could put your knee and up, your upper body weight in his neck like that for that long and not expect him to die. That white officer knew exactly what he was doing. He, he meant to kill that man. He meant to kill that man. That's murder. And the officers around him, because they were a part of the act... They have to go down for murder as well. It's called, um, shit. If you, if somebody did something stupid, got in a, in a car and they, you, they saw you as a friend and say, Hey, you want to take a ride? And you go, yeah. And they go rob a bank and all four, four or five of y'all get, get pulled over and arrested for that crime. You didn't know they was going to commit a, a, an arm, an armed robbery. You was just alone for the ride. But guess what? You going to jail as an accessory. These other cops are accessories to this murder. There ain't no other way to see this. America, 
you in trouble. Because you not only create these circumstances, you do not punish the people who do them. And the people you have been doing them to are fed up, completely fed up. Again, America, you're going on warning. If the killers of, of Ahmaud and Marbury, Aubrey are not jailed for murder, the United States going to burn. If these cops are not put in jail for murder, convict, conviction of murder, the United States will burn. Because this, this is it. This is game over. <laughs> game over. Game over. I never liked bullies in school. I was always that kind of person who looked out for the people being bullied. You understand what I'm saying? America has shown herself to be a bully of black people. We got to defend ourselves. We have to defend ourselves. This government has no intentions on doing the right thing. If they did, I wouldn't even be on this YouTube right now telling you this. They do slick stuff to try to buy time. Let the shit wade out. Think about it. The, uh, the, the, the Marbury thing. The case. This man was killed two months ago. Damn, they're going on three. They tried to sweep this under the, under the damn rug. Had black people not have made that video go viral, they would still be at home, chilling. If there was no video of this incident right here, right now, this incident right here, if there was no video of this, these cops would still be employed. How fucked up is that? We gotta see this. We gotta see the shit on video. For it to be real and exist. And we've been we've been living like this for too long. Too long. Black men, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I know you're fearful. I know it's scary. Every black man in the past has stood up and has been killed. From Malcolm X to Martin Luther King to Diablo. And, and, and that's what they do. They kill them to put fear in you. And guess what? Some of us going to die. <laughs> you might as well accept it now. But guess what? Your sons will not witness a coward's execution. They will witness the execution of a warrior, of a man who, who died on his feet. If you don't do this, your children are gonna rate they're gonna your men your boy children will not grow up to be men. They'll grow up to be slaves and they will be bitches. Excuse my French. Excuse my French. But it's true. It's so true. So true. Right now we're subjects to an illegal corporation operating on foreign soil. That illegal Cooper corporation is the United States of America. The co the cooperate the corporation of the United States of, of the United States is operating on the soil of America, which is sovereign soil. It belongs to the Aboriginal American, which is you and I. Any treaties, any understandings that was signed or agreed to before today are illegal. We had no say in them. Our relatives were, were seized upon by every European nation on this planet. We will get no, we will, we will not get justice from the UN because those same European continents sit on the heads of those, of those, those seats or whatever the fuck you call, want to call them. So there, there will be no justice by way of that. Our justice will come from us and us alone. I believe it's enough of us on this continent and in, and, and in America to get what we deserve. 
And what we deserve is peace. What we deserve is our land. What we deserve is our resources. What we deserve is not to be treated like dogs. What we deserve is to be treated like human beings, to be treated like men. And that's something we have to just take. Um, man, I saw this powerful video the other day. This guy said, one of the forefathers said that um, until you, well, he says you're a subject. And at the time they were subject to, to the crown of England. He said, you'll continue to be a subject. No, he says, um, the minute you arm yourself, you become a citizen. You're no longer a subject. You know what I mean? So, look. Here's what I'm just basically trying to tell you, black man. It's time out for all the bullshit. It's time out for all the playing and the games. <laughs> Buy yourself a gun. As many as you can afford. Legally, learn how to use that gun. Teach everybody in your house how to use a gun and gun safety. Protect your, your family, protect your property, and be ready to go to war when the time comes. Because if these people don't change their tune, we have no choice but to go to war. We have no choice but to defend our rights, our rights. Our, and I ain't talking about rights that's given to you by the, 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 the illegal corporation of America. No. I'm talking about your your natural rights. Your natural rights as a human being to protect yourself and those you love. I saw myself die last night. I saw myself on the street, not able to breathe, with a white man's knee in my neck. I don't want to see that shit ever again ever again look here like this video share this video and subscribe hit the bell so that you get notified when i go go, go live or if i make another video this ain't the kind of stuff i like talking about and quite frankly i'm tired of seeing it i don't want to talk about this shit no more ever in life but unfortunately watch my videos like i'm saying we have been at war since 1492 we are subject to the illegal corporation of America on our land, on our soil. It ain't that we are descendants of slaves, more so than we are descendants of POWs, prisoners of war. Watch my videos, find out what I'm talking about. Get caught up to speed. Because this shit gonna end, and it's gonna end soon. Bye-bye.